All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new movie review. I just got back from the theater, and I just got back from watching The Killer, which is streaming exclusively on Netflix. You might be asking, how did I get back from the theater? Well, I actually have a theater. Uh, this is a room that I built about, oh, it was probably about 18 years ago, uh, 17 years ago. And it's where I watch movies exclusively. And so I have my own theater. And it's actually better than going to the movies 90% of the time. So I like being able to watch movies like this at home in a format that most people can't. It, 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 this is a movie I would have gladly paid to go see. This movie really stars one person, Michael Fassbender. He is the star of this film. I think he's in every shot from the beginning until the end. The only other notable person that people are really going to recognize is Tilda Swinton. She's in it too. Now, not for very long, but she's still in the movie. And you'll see how that all plays out when you watch the film. I've seen a lot of buzz about this film. It is directed by David Fincher, uh, the guy who did movies like Fight Club. And, you know, you had Zodiac, you had Gone Girl. This guy has done some pretty heavy hitters in the past. And I was curious to check this movie out when everybody started talking about it in my comments. So I took the time to watch it today. And I was pleasantly surprised. First of all, I'm, I'm going to keep this as spoiler-free as I possibly can because I encourage people to actually watch it. The movie is about him being basically a paid assassin. And the first 30 minutes of this movie is gripping. It's, it's an internal monologue for the first 30 minutes. And he, this guy talks about his life, what he has to go through, and his kind of method on how he does stuff. And it's funny because he, at the beginning of the movie, he talks about how impersonal everything is. That it, he, doesn't, he doesn't subscribe to anybody's ideology or anything like that. He's his own person. He gets paid to do what he has to do, and he's not emotionally connected to anything. And he goes to great lengths to talk about this monologue in the first 30 minutes, and then something very personal happens, and uh, he kind of has to go against some of his rules in a few areas. I noticed it was kind of funny. And there's a couple bits of humor in this movie that are funny scenes, and it, they show you how to do humor in a very serious movie. And it was done quite well. There were a few times where I had a couple of chuckles, and it, it just it was fitting in those particular scenes. You'll notice that when you see the movie. The music was really good, but I'll tell you what was really good about this film. First of all, Michael Fassbender does an amazing job as this assassin. Uh, he, he played the character extremely well, and he, he did a great job. One of the best performances I've probably seen in a movie this year. What really stood out for me in this film, though, and this is weird because I don't ever think I've said this about a movie before, it was the sound design. There are some things with the sounds in this film that... Oh, that are really effective. In fact, this movie is played in chapters. I think there's a total of seven chapters. I think there are six normal chapters and then the epilogue. One of the chapters is titled The Brute. And you can envision that, you know, there's a guy in this episode who is a brute. And every time this guy walks in his house, you hear this pounding on the ground. Like, he is a force to be reckoned with. And that scene alone... The, the effort that went into filming that sequence and everything that happens in that chapter is pretty phenomenal when you think about it in hindsight. So the sound design is probably the best part of the film. So is the score and the soundtrack behind it. It's methodical. It's well done. It's integrated into the story. So let's talk about a rating on this movie because for me, it's not a perfect film. The one, you know, at, at the end of the day, my score on this is four and a half out of five stars. I wanted to give it five stars, but I can't because when the film and the credits started to roll, I, it just didn't have that special, that special oomph to push it to that five star mark. And what I mean by that is it's the story. What, what's crazy is the story is not an amazing story. There isn't some hook that's going to grab you or grip you. But what grips you is the way the story is told through the directing and the acting. Like, it's phenomenal. I think the one part of the story that does kind of hold it back is the overall story. And at the end of the day, I wasn't completely satisfied with how it totally ended or what it should be. Now, what I see this movie being is I would like to see this maybe become 
a franchise type of film like John Wick did. Now, don't mistake that this don't go in mistakenly thinking that this is a an action film because it's not. It is very much not that. Okay. But I could see how they could build upon this because there's, you know, in the hierarchy, there's always got to be somebody higher. And I think there are consequences for things that happen. And I could easily see this being turned into some kind of a franchise and they could build upon it. Uh, So I would like to see that happen and have David Fincher come back and direct some of those. I think it would be an amazing uh, kind of um, anthology type Uh, movie series that they could do. Whether they do something like that remains to be seen. But this is exclusively on Netflix, and this shows you how how some of these streaming networks can buck the trends of what these big Hollywood studios are doing, and you don't necessarily have to go to the movie to get those experiences. Now, like I said, I'm glad I have my theater downstairs because it, it allows me to see them in that theater format. But, man, this was a good movie. It was a borderline great movie. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. So there's my review on The Killer starring Michael Fassbender. I'll, you know, as I see more movies, I'll be doing movie reviews on my channel. So if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe, and it is really important to hit that notification bell. I've had a lot of people come back over my last couple of DC updates, and they, they, they want me to talk about certain things that I've already brought up in previous videos. But the thing is, YouTube is not telling everybody when I have new videos come out. I can upload three, three a day that they will promote. After that, you won't hear anything. And even the three that get sent out that day, you may not hear about if you haven't hit that notification bell. So you may miss something that I do bring up in previous videos. But I do appreciate all the support. We will see you on the next video.